they talking about uh, PlayStation games going on PC day and day. A couple of the homies in Discord was on a little podcast. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't that man. I was out here in the streets getting to it, getting busy. You know what I'm saying? Money making Mitch. Check me out, man. We we're on the crypto scene going crazy. But Wolverine supposed to be on day and day PC. Spider Man 2, they talking about it might be because Spider Man came on PC. I guess the Xbox gamers. That's their narrative now, you feel me? Oh, oh, y'all games on PC, they not exclusive no more. Come on, if you ain't playing it, it's the, it's the exclusive. So do we count PC now as an exclusive? Like, come on, the Nintendo and Xbox and PlayStation are the three consoles out. PC is like, that's, that's in the middle ground, that's gray area. You know what I'm saying? You have to buy a PlayStation to play Spider-Man. Everybody got a PC. That's just bonus. That's the cherry on top. You feel me? But who cares anyway? Like, I see if y'all was getting games, Xbox people. Like, why y'all tripping on the love being shared? We need money anyway. That's more money in Sony pocket to make more games. Wolverine, Spider-Man 2. Like on this cross-gen shit, man. It's like 120 million PS4s. I ain't that mad that they want to keep selling games to them PSO players because that's more bread in their pocket. More moolah for them servers, for them PlayStation Plus premium servers, for them cloud streaming servers, for the studios that they bought. And they're going to make more immersive, groundbreaking, realistic, fun games. Also, games are not realistic because I do like pixel art games or, you know, creative games like Tread the Yomi. That ain't realistic, but it's amazing. Also, Hollow Knight and Tunic. But yeah, man, this, this PC narrative, I ain't with it, man. I'm not with it. Y'all tripping. False, false narrative, false hype, false rage. I'm not mad. Look, people cutting their PS4s in half because Spider-Man on PC. You sound crazy. It ain't like you're not getting Spider-Man 2. Bro, you still getting Spider-Man 2. PS5, 4K, 60, maybe 120, ray tracing. What? Just because PC players have it too, it might not be day and day. Even if it is, more money in PlayStation Pocket to make that Spider-Man 3, to make that Venom side game like Miles Morales. Who don't want a Venom side game like, like, like Miles Morales? That's more money for, the, for, for Insomniac. Y'all ain't thinking. You're not thinking. More them PC players come on over and give me that moolah so we can put it towards that Venom side game. What go on, PC players fund Insomniac so we can make that Sunset Overdrive 2? What <laughs> PC players go on by The Last of Us 2 factions on PC so we can fund that Naughty Dog next game? What? <laughs> Y'all ain't thinking though. But okay, Phil Spencer, release that Crackdown 3, release that Have a Halo on PC to fund what? To fund Game Pass for more indies, to fund these untouched. You know what, man? I'm gonna get everybody a break. I'm gonna wait till June 12th to dog them out. But guys, who with me? I, I want your thoughts and opinions. Is day and day PlayStation games on PC a problem? Does it bother you? It don't bother me. Let me know, please. I need to know this. Or just false rage from the Xbox people. Because PC going to be happy. And PS5 gamers or PS4 gamers, we cool them because we get the game regardless. And we get more money to make sequels or new games. So is it the Xbox people? Hmm, let me know. I'm out, man. 730 Gaming Hero. Like the video, subscribe, put notifications on because them giveaways coming, baby, every week. $10 gift card. I'm out.